Hey, 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 I'm your man, Eric Boss, man, Grant, host of the Eric Graham Show on Spirit 1340 WYCB, the spirit of today's gospel. Listen, it's a Radio 1 station right here in our nation's capital, Chocolate City, Washington, D.C., baby. And we are here, we are here, we are here, getting ready for this celebration of a lifetime, celebrating the life, the legacy, the guy, the man himself, Mr. Vincent Walker in the Key of Life virtual concert. I know you're excited. I'm excited. Everybody's excited. The guys are waiting. But just before we do, just before we do, listen, I want to take take this time out just to tell you guys, on behalf of the Walker family, the entire Walker family, thank you, thank you, thank you for everything that you have done. All of the emails, the text messages, the phone calls, the cash apps, the cards, everything, the flowers. Listen, they just want to take this time out to say thank you, you, and especially you. But before we get there, I want to take time out to tell you a little bit about the man himself, Vincent Walker, the humble guy. So listen, he joined the group, the Singing Angels. Singing Angels is a quartet group uh, out of Alexandria, Virginia. It's a family group managed by his dad. Uh, his, his mom was in the group. His sister's uh, in the group. He joined the group at 14 years old as the good time player. And nobody thought that he would make it as far as he made it at 14 years old. But he really studied his crab. He loved what he did. He enjoyed playing his good time, went to sleep with his good time, woke up with his good time, wanted to go to school with the good time, but mama wasn't having it. We know that. <laughs> but look here. So um, he joined the group as the as the uh, good time player. He got good at it, got great at it. And uh, the Singing Angels always had like a unique sound. Uh, they were a quartet group with a contemporary feel, a southern soul feel, a, 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 a jazz feel, an R&B feel, you know. And Vincent was responsible for cre helping to create that sound. He became the musical director, so all of the music went through him. So, yeah, you know, they wanted to go left, but he went, oh, let's go a little right, you know. But they made it come together, and they, to this day, they're still a great group out of Alexandria, Virginia. So, shout out to the Singing Angels. Whoop, whoop, whoop. And listen... They, uh, it enabled him to share the stage with great gospel legends such as Evangelist Shirley Caesar, the Canton Spurgeons, the Gospel Keynotes, the Williams Brothers, the Mighty Clouds of Joy, and the list goes on. It enabled him to travel all over the world, which I'm sure as a young kid growing up in the streets of Alexandria, Virginia, he probably didn't think that, you know, he would go these places, but Nashville, Tennessee, the Bobby Jones Show, which is the biggest show. Uh, uh, in gospel. I mean, he was a part of that segment and, you know, just been doing his thing. And he loved all genres of music, you know, go-go, R&B, but especially jazz. I mean, he can make that good time talk playing that hollow body. I think it was a Gibson that he had. And I tell you, man, it was always a joy just to see him when I was a kid, just to see him walk in there, you know, and I'm just like, wow, there you go. He ready, you know, but yeah. And, um, also, you know, he was a founding member of the group Chocolate Funk. Chocolate Funk gave you that serious funk, you know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? That was Chocolate Funk. You know, all the guys. So shout out to Chocolate Funk. Those guys are still uh, keeping the dream alive, keeping the legacy alive. Big ups to you, Chocolate Funk. And, um, you know, we're in uh, Washington, D.C., the DMV area, which is a go-go city. So, of course, you know, I mean, he shared the stage with such go-go legends as Jazz Funk, Little Benny, uh, Fat Tony from Trouble Funk. Um, you know, and then uh, there was a group called Subtle Thoughts here in D.C. that became Subtle. And he was a good time player for Subtle and uh, Soundproof Bang, you know. And it was there that he got the name V-Dub. Everybody would call him V-Dub. What's up, V-Dub? And you can see him on stage. If he recognized you in the audience while he playing, he give you that nod. What's up? You know, then have time here come dap you up. What's up, man? Y'all, man, you sound good. Nah, man, I ain't doing that, man. You know, man, but thank you for coming, though, man. You know, that's just Vincent. Always wore a great smile, man. Always dap you up. Just friendly to everybody. Touched a lot of lives, you know, with his guitar playing, with his smile, with his conversation, you know, and he became a legend. He became a legend. You know, a lot of the younger guitar players uh, looked up to him. A lot of the, not only guitar players, just musicians, period. You know, looked up to him. I seen him pour to so many. But listen, I can go on and on and on. But listen, this is what I want you guys to do right now. Get ready. Put on your dancing shoes or take your shoes off. 
whatever you want to do. Get ready to two-step, pop up the volume a little bit, you know what I'm saying? Pop it up, not pump it up, pop it up, pop it up, pop it up, turn it up, and we're getting ready to two-step. We're going old school, we're going go-go, we're going jazz, we're going R&B, and we're going quartet, baby, just a little bit, just a little bit. Look, get ready for this virtual soulful sound concert of Vincent Walker in the key of life. We are ready, baby. The fellas are ready. We hope you are ready. Let's go. Take it away. Get to it. We out. To whoever may hear this, I just want to tell folks what Vincent Walker meant to me. Um... 1976, you saw me playing some drums in a guy's backyard. <sighs> and he approached me. I knew who he, who he was. He didn't know who I was. And, but the next thing I know, I'm in the band Chocolate Punk doing things I never thought was going to be possible. That changed my life because I became a drummer. And I played drums with bands for the next 30, 35 years because of him. If I didn't meet him that day or I'd probably still be playing drums in my backyard. One of the nicest guys. One of the biggest hearts. I Oh. Hi, my name is Raymond Monk, and I met Vincent when I was 15 years old, and uh, playing in my father's group, and he was playing, with singing, of course, the singing angels, and I met him when I was 15 years old, and we've been going, I've been knowing, we're having fun, you know, knowing him, joking, laughing, you know, playing the guitar, you know, y'all know how you do with that leg. You know, and then um, I started working with the city of Alexandria around 97. And man, he's been there with me, man. I've been having fun with him all these years. Going to miss him, funny guy. I used to go up there and hide sometime in his department. Um, he buys guitars and stuff. I would go up there and he said, well, come on, Ray, let me show you. You got a new guitar. I go over and sit up there and spend my lunch hour talking to him. As I said, spend my lunch hour talking to him with his guitar. But we had a good time, man, and I really, I'm really, i really going to miss him. And uh, seeing him every morning, you know, talking to me, encouraging me to stay with the city. A lot of times I just want to just leave. But when I'm there talking to Vincent, he was like, look, come here. Don't let you joker, come here. Don't let these jokers run you from this job. If you want to rate, if you want to leave, you leave. But don't let them run you. And I can say I got 24 years in this city, this year with the city of Alexandria. So thank you, Vincent, for all your help. Thank you, man, for just talking to me and everything. And I'm going to miss you. You know, hey, let's pray for the Walkers family. Thank y'all for sharing him with us. Thank you, Shannon, for sharing your dad with us. We love y'all. How I first met Vida, AKA Pops. I met him when um we needed to get to Aquaman to fill in for us one night down to Coma Station. And James, my brother, um, suggested that, you know, his father-in-law fell in. We was like, all right, cool, that'll work. We'll see. Um, he played golf. We played the quartet groups and this and that or whatever. So, Pops filled in. Get to the show, not knowing what to expect. Thinking I'm going to see, you know, an older dude, three-piece suit, quartet suit, maybe a Jerry Curl mullet, something. Nah, you, you know, that was not the case. To my surprise, Pops was flat. Like, oh, some jeans. Some drivers, some polo shirts, some Gucci glasses, and just fly. Real, real fly. Um, needless to say, we killed it. 
Clarkson had no rehearsal with us, no nothing. He just got on stage and freelance and played, but he killed it. And um, throughout the process of that, you know, we talked after the show. Come to find out, Pops knew a lot of my relatives. A lot of my relatives are uh, gospel musicians. He knew my, my cousin, two of my cousins actually, and my uncle. And we just talked and got to, you know, kicking and unwinding. You know, just went over some, some history or whatever. Um, from there, our relationship just grew. And Pops was just always a genuinely good, good guy, good man. Um, I'm hurt behind this. Devastated, you know. Definitely a good man. Always very professional. Um, really good man, good man. I'm definitely, um, it was definitely a blessing, a pleasure for me to actually get to share the stage with this man, get to know this man. Um, rest in paradise, Pops. Love you. This is an original song we dedicated to V-Dub, Mr. Vincent Walker.
when the singers need to be here. <laughs> when the singers go. That's off of it. To me, he said Frisley sitting in for Mr. Window Tabor. Come on, Mike, give me some of that funky rhythm guitar. Of Michael Gamble sitting in Spursley Bing playing for B-Dub. Come on, Mike. And our original keyboard player from 80 years ago on keyboards, our original player, Mr. Harris Belfield. Ladies and gentlemen on drums, sitting in for our drummer, Mr. Johnny Gordon. We got Dennis on the funky. Come on, Dennis.
not bad for a bunch of old guys. Come on, y'all, on the one. One, two, three. Come on, women. And I need y'all to break it down a little bit, y'all. Can you break it down for me? Break it down. And one of our dear friends, y'all, helping us out today. Long dear friend of Mr. Vincent Walker doing good job. We finally got him out to play. Mr. K. K. C. Cross. Can y'all break it down? Everybody except Kirk. Come on, Kirk. Crazy at 12, I'm gonna be in the bed. Oh, we want to fuck. How long? Get yeah, what they want. Oh, we need to fuck. What's up, everybody? This is Cliff Jones. Um, I just want to come on here to say uh, thank you to the Walker family for being who you are. Robin, Ouija, Shannon, I love you guys. Um, I'm, my heart is aching because of Vincent and uh, the loss of him. It's just, it's, it's puzzling. I'm, he, Vincent was a great guy. He was a great guy um, when we were kids growing up. I admired him. Um, one of the greatest guitar players in this city. And uh, I just love him, respect him. You know, one thing that Vincent always shared with me was, you know, he, 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 he watched my career and watched me as a kid grow. And he always came and told me as I prospered, he said, man, make me proud. He always, always said, make me proud, homie. And, and I hope I made him proud, honestly. Um, you know, it's, it's so much that I can say, but at this point in time, you know, um, I will continue to hold Vincent in my heart forever. And uh, I never shall forget when those singing angels would pull up in that brown van and Mr. Walker would get out and Robin and the girls would go inside and Vincent would stay back and tune his guitar and he would have a little crowd around him. You know what I'm saying? You know how the Cortez used to do hang out. Man, I'm gonna miss those days of him when he'd get up on the floor, believe me, when them singing angels would get on the floor, it was going to be a problem. So I, I'm a Miss Vince. I love you guys. Hey, listen, you know, let's keep Vincent's name alive. Peace. Hello, everyone. This is old Joe Sims, as my sister Robin would say. Uh, I want to say thank you to the family for affording me this effort to speak about my brother Vincent. Andrew Walker. Um, our journey started some 44 years ago. I mean, thank God for allowing him to be a part of my life as well as a part of his life and the Walker family. They adopted me as a son, as a brother, an uncle, nephew, and I really appreciate it. Uh, I'm going to miss my brother. He's more than a friend, a musician. He's my brother. Um, 
Vincent would uh, always call me. We would talk. When we both were working, he would come by my job and stay for an hour and a half, and we just talk uh, in general. Not always, it wasn't always about music. Uh, we shared music. He would come to the house, and, uh, and I'm going to miss that. But when you have a true friend and a true brother, you don't have to see him every day to know that he loves you and you love him. And that's the type of relationship Vince and I had. And so in his voice, he would always say, he would smile and always say, hey, Joseph. And I would always reply, hey, Vincent. And at the end, we would say, hey, bro, I love you. And so to the family, to the singing angels, who have been a part of me for 44 years, that's a blessing. We send our love to you, healing love, heartfelt love embrace you in our, in our prayers each and every night. I want to say thank you. Rest in peace, my brother. Rest in peace. Yeah, I'm going to miss you, but God loves you best. Amen. Hello, everyone. My name is Shanoa Morgan, and Vincent Andrew Walker has had a major impact in my life since I was five years old. Um, he is my dad, he is my best friend. He is my daughter's grandfather. He is my protector and he is my mentor. Um, dad taught me how, hands down, how to cook some chicken and spaghetti because those were the only two meals that he could actually cook and master, okay? He taught me how to love and forgive people no matter what the case may be. Dad, Vincent, V-Dub, I will always love you from the bottom of my heart. May you rest in heaven and please, please watch over me and save a seat for me. I love you always. Peace. Alright, we can stop. <laughs> we're, we're here for V-Dub. We yeah. gave, you gave him that name, uh, W's. <laughs> yeah. Man, I remember, uh, well, me and V-Dub go way back, like, my father had to have a group called the Heavy Echoes out of Alexandria, Virginia, and um, they were the singing angels, and uh, I always admired his playing. And uh, I was so shy, I used to ask him every time, man, how did I do, did I do all right? Say, yeah, Joker, you did good, Joker. <laughs> That's be good. Yeah, and um, then uh, from there, years passed, and I put together a band called Soundproof. And I said, uh, V, would you like to play the guitar for the band? He said, man, y'all jokers better be right. <laughs> so I got my little brother Pistol, and we were pretty much the founders of Soundproof uh, since 2001. 2000, yeah. Yeah, 1999 actually. Yeah, yeah we've been going ever since. Um, and this is my uh, MD Pete, Pete, Peter Chapman, and uh, yeah, we love V man. Yeah, we love V man. It, uh, over the years, man, he's he has uh, been a uncle, brother, father to all everybody that came through with the band. Um, personally, for me, been uh, like a, a great friend, mentor, father figure. Um, uh, and 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 he he just you know he say a man of mid, few words but it it it, it sticks you know so um, I, I'm glad that he was in my life and um, he definitely want to uh, remember his legacy Absolutely. and um, and one thing he used to always do he'd be so cool on that or on that guitar then he would he be doing <laughs> then he he gets to looking around yeah, yeah, the yeah. first thing he get it. Then he get in his groove and he do that little step. And he, <laughs> and he, and, 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 he gone. He's he gone. He's working. He's working. He working it, you know what I'm saying? So we just here to say that we love a man and we're going to yes, um, make true. this tribute to him with Soundproof. True. Yeah, Soundproof Band.
flipping through changes It must be love that's on your mind You're doing things you wouldn't before
been seeing him as a little kid and I was playing the drums and he was playing the guitar for the singing angels. I was playing drums for Heavenly Sons. And, uh, you know, so, but then when it was time for me to go to the prom, he was the one that got me dressed for the prom. Making sure my tie was straight, put my jacket on, making sure I was fresh and fly. And man, we bonded upstairs in mama room. And it was just so good, man. He became like a father figure to me. And uh, he definitely gonna be missed. You know, not only a great musician, but just a wonderful man, a perfect example of a man and a great dad. Vincent, I love you, man. Rest in power and uh, see you on the other side. Wow. What can I say about Big Ben? Cause B Vincent, as we called him. Um, thinking a lot of things. But when, when we was little, you know, uh, Benson used to always beat up me and Kenny. So one morning, he was upstairs when they lived on the south side. And me and Kenny snuck upstairs. We made a plan. We snuck upstairs and we got him in the back bedroom, in their bedroom. And we beat him down. We held him down and choked him, whatever. To the point he called on Vivian to tell us to stop and get off him. And that was our crowning moment. So me and him always, you know, talked about that, laughed about that. Me, him and Kenny, when Kenny was still here, um, that was always a big, big thing with us because they were like my brothers instead of cousins because I had you no know, big brothers. So I love you, big brother. I will always love you. Take care in your heavenly home and peace be with you. Oh, hello, I'm HP. I'm one of Shannon's friends. I've been asked to give my fondest moment of Vida. So there are tons of good Vida moments in the sister circle, but mine is from May 29th of 2016, which happens to be Shannon's wedding day. So on that day, all the sisters are there. Everybody's getting all beautiful. And we watched our sister go from the normal beautiful person that she is to this amazing princess. And it's like princess dress with princess hair. And it was just a beautiful thing to see. So we had the honor of bringing her down the stairs so that she could meet her dad, so that he could walk her out to her Prince James. And there was this moment where Vida saw her and was overcome by emotion and just was so in love with her and so proud and so honored to be there to walk her down the aisle. And I realized that, you know, he was Vida to all of us, but like, that's her daddy and that was his baby girl. And that was a beautiful moment. And as we fluffed her dress so that she could walk out, um, you know, I could hear him saying things like, that man loves you and I love you and you look beautiful. And all those things that a girl wants to hear from her dad. And so it was just a beautiful moment to see and truly one of the best things I've ever observed. So Shannon, your sister, love you more than anything in this world. And we are here for you whenever you need us. We ain't going nowhere, Shug. Love you. R.I.P. Vita. On the behalf of the Seek and Find Project, we just want to give our condolences to the Walker family and the, the Singing Angels. Um, of course, I'm Dayron Sigler. I was a drummer for the Singing Angels for quite a few years, man. And Uncle Vince, man, I'm going to miss his smile, his encouragement. Um, he actually gave me the opportunity to play in my first group, which is the Singing Angels. Uh, we just going to miss him so much, man. Our prayers to um, the Singing Angels and Walker family. Um, this is a tough loss, but um, we're, we're trusting God in the process, and you all are in our prayers. Yeah, so um, I'm definitely gonna miss um I love this intros, I love this uh, outros, I love this look. I call them Mr. Chuck. I call them Chuck and Chuck. And um I'm just gonna um, miss him a lot. Um, I'm glad that we got a chance to do a rendition of uh what's up with you on? Uh, what is this? What is this? And, okay, uh, you gotta you gotta do that drive. Y'all oh, gotta do that drive. You got New Home, New Home, got it, New Home opens up. God. Wow, God. <laughs> Uncle Vince, man, we doing this for you, man. Love you, man.
peace that I feel deep inside. What is this? Sets my soul on fire. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Whatever it is.
what I miss the most about Vincent A. Walker, V. Dub, is his storytelling. And they were all true stories. But they were every time you talk to them. I mean, you could be like, man, I lost my toe in a spades game. And he'll put his head down and he'll be like, oh, man, that's you're going to be all right. You're going to be all right. Man, I remember I was playing with the singing angels. And I dropped the, the guitar on my toe. And then he'll go into, man, the singing angels used to play at this church. And I remember doing this and I remember doing that. And then it'll it, 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 it transition to, yeah, man, my man Gene. Man, Gene, man, Gene was a... Uh, and it was interesting to hear these stories that he would tell. They were all true, but it was uh, just interesting that every time he talked to him, he was so engulfed in, in conversation of music that he really loved. And there was so much history within the DMV. So what I miss most about my father-in-law, Vincent A. Walker, B. Dub, love you, man. I just want to say a few things uh, about my love. The things that I'm gonna miss the most about Vincent is his face, his eyes, the way he made me laugh. The way he walked, the way he strut, the way he just lit up a room. I'm gonna miss that so much. And uh, the thing that I'm gonna remember the most is that how much he loved his family and how much family meant to him and how much his friends meant to him. And how much he loved me and, and how he loved me. He was my best friend and I'm gonna miss him so much. He was definitely loved and I loved him so much and I'm gonna miss him. And hey boy, am I gonna miss him. So that's all I have to say right now.
Up, man. Thank y'all for tuning in. I had the time of my life. I was over there two-stepping for real. Thank y'all for tuning in, man, to the virtual concert, Vincent Walker and the Key of Life. Shout out to the Seek and Find Project, Checkmate, Soundproof Band, and we can't forget about Chocolate Funk. 
Man, listen, on behalf of the Walker family, I want you to know that we love you. We pray that you really enjoyed this concert. We put it together tonight. Everything came together. We love you. Hope you love us. We are out of here. Thank y'all so much. Keep praying for the Walker family and the Vincent Walker legacy lives. We out.